Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's try method two on the very same problem that we solved in the previous video. But here you can see that to get the area between these two curves, it may be better to have the area element going this direction because in that way you can see that the area element is the same for the entire area that we're trying to find. But then you see that the dA is going to be equal to the difference in the x values between these two curves, which means we have to take the two functions, which are y in terms of x, and turn them into x in terms of y kind of equations. So x1 will now be defined like this, and x2 will now be defined like that. And then when we plug those values in for x2 and x1, we can see that this will now be our new equation to integrate, but now our limits will be y limits, instead of x limits, and the limits will be from 0 to 4, because right here, where the two functions meet, that's where x equals 8, but that's where y equals 4. So let's go ahead and calculate this integral to see what we get, and remember the, the value that we had in the last video was that it was 56 divided by 5 for that area between the two curves. Let's see if we get the same value. So this becomes equal to y squared over 2, plus 4y minus, there'll be y to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves, evaluated from 0 to 4. Simplifying that a little bit, this is equal to 1 half y squared plus 4y minus 2 over 5 times y to the 5 halves, evaluated from 0 to 4. Now let's go ahead and plug in the limits and see what we get. When we plug in the lower limit, of course, we don't get anything. We only need to use the upper limit. So plugging that in here, we get 16 divided by 2, which is 8, plus 4 times 4, which is 16, and minus 2 fifths times. Here, when we plug in a 4 for the y, we get the square root of 4, which is 2, raised to the fifth power, which is 32. And so this is equal to 24 minus 2 fifths, that will be 64 over 5. And then if we, uh, let's see, uh, we write this over 5, so this becomes equal to 120 divided by 5, because 5 times 24 is uh, 120. So 120 minus 64 divided by 5. And sure enough, the total area will then be equal to 56 over 5, exactly the same as we got in the previous video. But notice in this case, we only had to use one integral because we're able to keep the, D, the dA, the area element, the same throughout the entire area. If we have the dA like this, then we have to stop at x equals 4 and have a different dA for the remainder of the area to calculate that. So that is the second method that you can use to find the area like this. And yes, there is a third method, so stay tuned for the next video to see how else we could find the area of this particular integral. That's how it's done.